Rich, it has taken just over seven years to get the sequel to Dying Light. And here we are, Dying Light 2, Stay Human. Yeah. The hotly anticipated title from Techland is out in a mere matter of hours, depending on where um, you are in the world. No colon in that title, by the way, Dan, in case you're wondering. There Dying Light 2, Stay okay. Human. Yeah, all one run-on thing for some reason. Unbelievable. Yeah. Just the breaking rolls left, right and centre. I know, what are they, what are they thinking? Uh, but, mate, we have got like, effectively 11 different versions we're looking at today. And I bet we're just going to jump straight in. All right. You want sort of- I bet it was fun to do, 11 versions. Oh, mate, fun- yeah, absolutely. It's open mm. world as well. Yeah. Right. First thing you noticed, that massive peak. There yeah. is a bit of screen tearing on both the PS4 and the PS4 Pro. Ooh. Like, I mean, there weren't any dropped frames. Right. But there was screen tearing. Now, yeah. the Xbox One S had drop frames and screen tearing, Ouch. whereas the One X and the Series S tend to be fairly rock solid. But you see those right. peaks yeah. on the One S? That, that's not more frames. That's basically screen tearing. Mm. Here we okay. have the three modes on the PlayStation 5, which will be the same as the Series X when we look at that in a minute. Quality, yeah. resolution, and performance. We'll go through what each one of those entails shortly. But, Rich, fairly solid, I will yeah. say. I mean, there was the odd dip in frames on the performance. Like, you just saw that on the Series X. Like, it'll tr- drop the odd frame here and there. Yeah. And there's a slight bit of tearing every so often um, on the like the quality modes. Um, mm. And But, Rich, um, for the most part, like, on the next-gen consoles, fairly solid. Well, it's funny, because I played completely in performance, and you played completely in resolution, didn't you? And yeah. um, you preferred resolution, right? Yeah, and we're going to go over that right now. Okay. So first things first, while these consoles are up on the screen, we'll just run through the three next-gen modes. Quality, mm-hmm. resolution, and performance. Quality yep. is your ray tracing mode. Resolution is your 4K mode. Performance is your 60 FPS mode. Now, I'm not sure whether quality is quality. Um, <laughs> it's definitely the worst at the three. Yeah. Um, but, like... I mean, as we go on, we'll see that the PS4 and the Xbox One S versions, they're not great. They're mm. okay. Yeah. Technically, they're not a masterpiece. It reminds me a little bit of Cyberpunk. Massive open world. Right. Like, but solid frame rates. Well, Whereas I mean, the Cyberpunk, PS4 Pro, Cyberpunk wasn't solid frame rates no, to I mean, with, was it? <laughs> Dying, Light, Dying Light has solid okay, frame rates. Okay, sorry, yeah. Yeah. Unlike Cyberpunk that did not. Yes. Um, and then we got the Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro, mm-hmm. which don't look incredible, but they're solid. And yeah, they're, but they're, they're only look- 30 FPS. There's no different modes in those. Mm. They look all right, yeah. Yeah. Series S looks, I think, probably slightly better than the One X and the Pro. Yeah. And solid 30. But here mm-hmm. we go. This is the two. This is the best looking. And it's very close. But I do feel like, just slightly, the Series X shades it, just in certain situations, yeah. and I'll show you those. Looks like there's more swirling um, debris as well. <laughs> but what, I don't know what's going on with the frame rate of the, the windmill here. Yeah, I uh, noticed you know what that. I mean? Even in performance mode, I noticed that that was juddery. Really odd. Well, yeah, and you're going to see it now in performance mode. It's running at like 20 FPS. Yeah, um, I don't know what that's about. But the rest of the screens and the like, shots, like all you got to do is look at the trees, um, the distance, the, the anti-aliasing and the detail, um, mm. and you'll see how much resolution mode is far better than performance mode. Yeah. Um, but I genuinely feel like that the jump in terms of quality from performance to resolution, even though it's not 60 FPS, like, it looks so much better. Mm. Like, and as you can see here, like performance... And the right resolution in the middle, it just looks infinitely better. Yeah. And again, you've got to be watching this on a 4K screen. If of those course. at home are going, I can't see the difference. <laughs> and the difference is, um, yeah, it's massive. And when yeah. we come back to that shot and when we compare the consoles, um, you'll see that the that some of the text in the background is just easy to see. Mm. Um, whereas um, on the performance mode, it is not. So you can see like the trading hall. Um, oh yeah, uh, uh, trading post. Sorry, with the water um, tower in the distance there. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, like it's uh, there's three modes. I'd say quality, yeah, n- not really worth it. Um, mm. Resolution very good, performance <clears throat> great for 60 FPS. Now this is why I said 
um, that I feel like the Series X has a slight edge. See that chimney in the in the bottom right by the tree, Rich? Yeah. Right, when you go to the PS5 version, like, shortly, like, there are missing kind of details. And I don't know whether that's just, I picked that, see that on the PS4, that, that kind yeah. of bush goes. It's <laughs> the same on, like, all the PlayStations. Oh. So I'm not sure whether there's just inherently more detail on the Series X, oh, yeah. or whether it's just some different kind of random generation between the versions. Kind of thing you would right. never notice unless it was pointed out to you, but yeah, no, exactly. missing shrubbery. Like the, the side by side. But the, the, mm. the, you know what? The whole game is weird because we've got a shot coming up in a minute where yeah. I'm like, there's one thing on the Series X, sorry, the One X version that exists only on that version and not on any other version. And I can't <laughs> quite put my finger on why that is. Right. <laughs> so it's really weird. Mate, it's crazy. It's crazy. But, um, yeah. But as you can see, like resolution, super crisp mm. compared yeah. to performance mode. So it depends whether you value the 60 FPS, mm. which is great, obviously, and it's super smooth. Yeah. Um, but personally, I think the massive jump in terms of visuals from performance to resolution almost makes it worth playing in resolution. Like, yeah. I played in resolution, um, and I do not regret it at all. Yeah, at see, all. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. Because I'm planning um, a possible second playthrough, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Right, a few things to talk about. Um, last gen, the load times are ass. Oh, God, um, yeah. Th- they're, they're terrible. Um, uh, the frame rates we've gone through, they're, they're fairly solid. But, uh, but there are bits of screen tearing. And you said this, there was screen tearing in the performance mode that yeah. you were playing on as well, right? It's usually sort of during canned animations, like um, when you're unplugging and plugging in cables in the electrical substations. There'd be a little bit of tearing there. Mate, and so the frame yeah. rate I noticed in the substations was mm. a bit of a nightmare. Yeah. Like it's sometimes weird that it, it just, when you're holding the cable. Yeah, it's weird that it would be during internal, in like interior bits where, you know, it shouldn't yeah. really be, you know, under strain, but hey ho. No, 100%. But also, mm. the one thing I do want to point out that the best thing that the next gen version has going for it over the last gen version is the menus. Press and start to a menu takes forever on the last gen consoles. Does it? And to, and to tab between the different tabs, oh. like it, it takes like almost like a dark age to get oh through. God. It. Uh, I mean, there's a slight uh, delay even on. I played on Series X and yeah, tabbing there through the menu stuff. There's a slight delay, but mate, yeah. it's the same on the PS5. There is a slight delay, right. but on the last gen consoles, it is painful. Ugh. It's like I think it's seconds. Like it's really? not like half a second or split seconds we are talking seconds that's annoying but i mean honestly i do actually on resolution mode it actually can be quite a pretty game Mm. but like i don't feel like this is it's weird because i feel like they've got all these next gen modes while last gen's just got barely functioning kind of yeah modes like one mode each whereas Mm. usually the pro or the one x might get a mode but like i do feel like that it's not a technically impressive game. Like, it can be kind of pretty in situations. Like, mm. looking at the resolution shots on both of the next-gen consoles, side by side, it's not a bad-looking game. Mm. doesn't blow me away at all. Uh, well, like, there, are, there are times when you're sort of on top of a skyscraper and you're looking out across the city, and I'm like, wow, that is quite impressive. Okay, um, right, Rich. Look I think at this it's quite door. a pretty Look game, at the door, yeah, right? On. Look mm-hmm. at the window, see the, the green sign, go down and go right. And yeah. you'll see on the One X version where it says lies. See that? Yeah. Like, the detail on that is far more pronounced than any, any other version, which I can't quite work out. Oh, yeah. like you can actually read the text when you, when you get to... Um, well, we won't see the One X version again, we only see it once. But there's just like little details in the world that are different between different versions. So I'm not sure whether that little bush that I pointed out <laughs> earlier on was That's not the only a, thing. Yeah, like yeah. I'm just not sure what, how the, the, dip, the versions differ like that. And um, mm. But yeah, like, I mean, this is a great shot. I think it looks great on the PS5 and the, the Series X, that shot. Yeah. So you know, like, it is like a good-looking game. It's just not going to blow you away, I don't think. Especially no. if you've played like, um, I don't know what we had recently. Um, oh, Uncharted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, well, yeah, I mean, Uncharted is just good in general, right? Mm. But I think, like, if you play, like, a, a Kena or a Kena. Right, yeah. Um, uh, um, or 
I, I'm trying to think of um, a Ratchet and Clank. Um, oh, Halo God, wasn't well, even yeah. that impressive either. No, I suppose. Um, but I do, I do feel like for quality mode as well. I haven't picked the greatest ray tracing um, esque moments in the game to show them off because obviously I'm not mm-hmm. looking specific for specific things. I'm just looking for a lot of detail in the environment, yeah. different types of environments and stuff like that. Um, and also, we've got all this way, and I've not mentioned the fact that it was an absolute nightmare because there's a day-night cycle and the weather changes. And oh, mm-hmm. uh, but yeah. Well, at least and you had a clock so, to, um, you know, exactly. set this stuff by. But otherwise, yeah, exactly. I can see how that'd be difficult. You got lovely little motes of dust there on the Series S, yeah, that aren't on the others, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. Before, yeah, if you like little dusty motes. There you go. So you can see the slight differences between the versions, yeah. but obviously the um, the next gen versions, like maybe it's the time of day thing because you get it on the PS5, but you don't get it on the Series X, there, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, that's true. The little dust particles. Yeah, don't know what that's Mate, about. It's a very inconsistent game, and yeah. I can't work out what. I, no, this is the inconsistent. Uh, <laughs> the One S and the PS4 have stuff going on in this scene, whereas right. the actual next gen consoles didn't really. Could that so be something that just to do with your? Mind. That that's nothing to do with your faction alignment or anything like that. That's no, just because the Xbox One S and the One X were taken at the exact same time. That's bizarre. Okay, so. All right, um, that's really same weird. with the PS4 and the PS4 Pro. Like PS4 and the PS4 Pro is a new save because there's no smart delivery saves, so yep. I have to start up a save again. But what like, the- do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, it just on the the weaker hardware, yeah. you've got technically like more stuff going on. But yeah, again, survivors having a little just, campfire. This could just be the roof that I randomly picked. Mm. Um, oh, and there was a guy in the PS5 version who I killed because um, he was in the way I was shot. So oh. I apologise to that survivor that I had to take down. Well, but you know, you should have known better. Exactly. Nobody gets in doing? the way of a comparison shot, man. No. No one. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, Rich, that's pretty much like, that's 11 different versions we just looked at across <sighs> seven consoles. Wow. Um and now I'm going to go and sleep for three weeks. Yeah, you do. Um, you do that. I think um, you've earned it. Well, um, until the next game, which is what, Horizon? Because yeah. that's only three consoles. So. Oh, Dead Guy's not on Series X, though. He wasn't there. No, he wasn't. But like, and the detail in the environment in these shots great. I, yeah. like, it, like, I do like... It is a pretty game on those. Yeah. It just doesn't blow me away. Um, but, oh, yeah, yeah, this is our last shot, Rich. Okay. And, um, like, basically, you can see... Oof. Lovely. The trees, as you go up the versions, just get yeah. more massive. The church steeple in the background, when it goes to resolution mode, this is resolution mode, as you can see, oh, infinitely nice. better. Yeah. Um, like those, But that's the worst version now, the 1S. Mm-hmm. Um, to the second worst version, <laughs> um, to the third worst version, um, we're getting Still to the middle crisp. Now, um, right. Yeah, but like the PS5 looks great. I'm um, slightly yeah. off shot. I apologise. Uh, I lined it up with the wrong thing. Didn't mm. realise until exporting, but <laughs> it was too <laughs> late to do anything. Um, but yeah, folks, um, I, I eleven think it's versions. A game. I, um, I quite yeah, like it. Yeah, I, I personally recommend that people actually play on uh, resolution, just because it looks okay. great at resolution. Uh, performance though is it looks well. It's Super slick on performance. So I, I played on performance and I, I didn't have that many issues. I thought it was was all right. Oh, I didn't mean issues. Like I just mean yeah. that it just looks infinitely better. Well, just, on the resolution. just generally speaking, sort of issues like with um, you know, the visual fidelity. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would skip quality mode. It feels like it's a game that like doesn't really benefit massively from the ray tracing. I mean, somebody could prove me wrong with that, but well, I mean, unless you're really into puddles. Yeah, but yeah. the lighting as well, obviously, because ray yeah. tracing is real time lighting. Okay. But I had no issues with the kind of volumetric lighting in the, mm. the traditional version. So I don't know, Rich. Um, but yeah, that was Dying Light 2. It's out tomorrow. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Cheers, folks. Bye. Bye.